Hey everyone, it's Jennifer from A Country Life and today I have for you guys two things. For all of my faithful viewers, followers, subscribers, hello to all of you. And if you are new here, remember to hit the subscribe button and that way you will be able to get in on this um, giveaway that I'm going to be talking about in just a few minutes. Like I said, there's going to be two things that I'm going to be sharing with you all today. The first thing is going to be a review of a watch. I'll get into that in just a second. And then the second thing is going to be a brand new recipe for you. This is a brand new recipe to me. Um, I actually took an existing recipe and switched it around, um, added, deleted, did all the things, and I made a brand new recipe for you. I had a, a viewer back on one of my bulk cooking videos, which I could not find the, um, the comment again. She had mentioned to me that she always picks up a four pack of these cranberry orange muffins from one of their local bakeries. And she had asked if I had a recipe for a cranberry orange muffin. So I thought that I would take my very, very, very favorite and my husband's favorite and everybody's favorite cranberry nut bread that I make and then a blueberry muffin recipe that I make and that I would kind of mix those all up and turn it into one cranberry orange bakery style muffin. So that's going to be the second part of the video. So if you are interested in, in recipes, stick around for that. That'll be a little bit later. But let Let's get on to the watch. So let's first just talk about me and watches and time. I tend to be late for just about everything. Not the kind of late, like 15, 20 minutes late, but the kind of late where I'm just constantly pushing my time. I'm always trying to get in one more tiny little thing before I leave or constantly thinking, well, I don't want to be early. And so I end up being a minute or two late. You might think, just wear a watch, maybe you'd be more on time. But it isn't that easy. I am kind of particular to make this long story, uh, maybe shorter, longer, I don't know which. I received an email from a company and I'm going to call it right now the Jord Company. And they had offered to send me a watch and I checked out their company and lo and behold, they're wood watches. They are just beautiful. I'm going to give you a quick glimpse here. I feel like a Home Shopping Network model right now. That's funny. There's a quick glimpse of the watch. You can see the wood grain there, the clasp. Once I saw that the watches were wood watches, I really, it just really, really piqued my interest because I am a wood girl. My husband is a wood guy. He loves to build furniture, just all kinds of things out of wood. Warren had um, cut trees, had them sawn, dried them, and then milled them and put them onto the wall as tongue and groove pine. That's all right from our, um, right from our property. Even further back, for our wedding, he cut birch trees and then cut them into to like small different size lengths drilled little holes in and we put candles in those for on our table decoration and so when I saw this watch I just could not pass it up it really really is a beautiful timepiece so I'm going to um, um, let me take it off this is the part of the video where I share with you that it is not pronounced Jord it is pronounced Yod so I don't know the language that that is, but anyways, it is pronounced Yod. And let's just take a good close look at this watch. The watch that I chose is actually called Zebra Wood, and it has a cream, um, a cream colored face. It really does feel very nice on the skin. It's very smooth. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like sharp or feel kind of splintery or something like that, but. Oh my gosh, absolutely not. It is so smooth, so beautiful. When you first open the watch, it comes on this cute little pillow here. It comes with an extra link and an extra pin. And it also comes with a little tube of 100% natural finishing oil. And this, it's recommended to first brush on the oil. So, so basically, there's a little oil in here. You just kind of turn this up, kind of like a little makeup tube dispenser or something. And you just brush it right on the wood. Let it sit for 10 minutes. 
wipe off any extra oil. So that is a really good and close-up look at the watch. There is a little look at the back of the watch. It just has the brand. It tells you that it's made from natural wood. Here's the clasp. The clasp is pretty typical clasp on a nicer watch. It has you know, you just kind of fold it in and then it snaps in place like that. I've been wearing this watch for about a week now and I am just, I've just been thrilled. So if you are looking for a watch for yourself, something just really unique and, and especially if you really love wood, definitely check out their website. Yode is generously offering a $100 uh, certificate to one of my viewers. So you'll just go follow that link, fill in your name, your email, and then they will let you know if you've won that will that will happen in two weeks from today if you don't want to wait to see if you won the 100 dollars off of a watch there's also going to be the second link which will be a coupon code for 25 dollars off of any watch with free shipping and free sizing they have a really nice little tool that you print off you cut it out and then measure your wrist wherever it lines up. That's your wrist measurement. You put that number on your order and then the watch will be sized to exactly that wrist measurement. This particular watch is a ladies watch. They have a number of men's watches over there too. You can also get bands specifically sized for your Apple watch if you're interested in something like that. So definitely check out the links below to the giveaway to the $25 coupon code and then just go look at the watches because they really are fun to look at. Hey everyone, I'm back in the kitchen here tonight. Things got away from me a little bit, so although you don't know that it took me longer to get back here, I know it is going to get really, really cold tonight, like 22 degrees cold, and all of our apples were still on the apple trees. So we had to, that when I say we, I mean me and Sam and Joseph and Peter and Maria, we all headed outside to try to quickly get those apples off the tree um, while Warren was getting the irrigation engines up and running to get the sprinklers running on the cranberries to protect them from the frost. So anyways, I'm back in the kitchen now and I'm gonna just show you what I've got going for um, these cranberry muffins that I'm gonna be making. Like I said earlier, I'm actually mixing up two recipes that I make. One is for blueberry muffins and one is for cranberry bread and um, we're just gonna see how this turns out. I think it's gonna be really good. Um, everyone will do a little taste test when they're done and let you guys know, but this is the recipe that I've come up with for cranberry orange bakery style muffins. This is just gonna make 12 muffins because like I said, since this is a brand new recipe, I'm not gonna go hog wild. We have a quarter cup of melted shortening. I'm gonna do a cup and a half of flour. I always use unbleached. I'm gonna do a half cup of white sugar. Um, what do I have here? A half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to do three teaspoons of baking powder, an egg. Whoops, I don't have that out yet. And then I'm going to juice my orange. And if I don't get a full half cup, then I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the juice to get up to a half cup. I'm also going to uh, zest my orange. This is a little tool. I don't know if I picked this up at a Pampered Chef party or I don't know, maybe one of those, uh, that kitchen store. <laughs> That's Joe in the background. Um, I might have picked it up at that kitchen store that is in all the outlet malls. I'm not sure. But anyways, action. Joe's putting on a play, I think, right now. So I'll put a link if I can find something like this. This works really well because it's actually really sharp and it'll um, get the zest of the orange off nicely. And then I'm also going to use a full cup of cranberries and if you know me, I'm gonna heap that cup as high as I possibly can. So it's probably gonna be more like a cup and a half of cranberries. I'm gonna mix that all up like you would. Action! Action? What did Action! You... Action, what did you make? I uh, put the friend that I know and a mom. I like to work on here. Oh, I, I like that. Smile, the sticks, the fire, the fences, and you know, stuff I. I love it. Say hey to everyone. Say hi. How you doing? I'm good. You're good. So I'm just gonna mix these up like you would for muffins. So in order to not get those really high peaks. Yes, and Joe. Action. We see you. Okay, you have to be quiet now. Shh. shh. So in order to not get those high peaks, the best thing to do is to mix up the dry ingredients, okay? 
Okay. Then you want to mix up all the wet ingredients and then add the wet to the dry and just mix until it's just blended. You don't want to over mix muffins because uh, that's what will make them a little tougher and give them those peaks rather than a nice domed top. So that's all there is to it. I put, just wait, shh, shh. I put the orange zest right into my dry ingredients. Let's pour that right in there. And now I'm just going to stir this gently until all, whoops, it's hard to do this one handed here, but I'm just gonna do this until all the dry ingredients are just combined. This is like my first time whipping this recipe all together here. Um, I did end up adding one extra teaspoon of water because the dough just seemed a little bit drier than I would like. And then I put in a great big heaping cup of frozen whole cranberries. Fresh cranberries would work great with this. I'm gonna get these into my muffin pan. I'm gonna put a really yummy topping on top. the topping I just mixed together about a half to two-thirds cup of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, and then about three tablespoons of butter. And I'm just mixing it up like you would for like pie crust or crumb coating or something, you know, anything like that where you're just kind of like forking it until it uh, comes together and makes like these nice Sort of like chunky crumbs, okay? The kind of crumbs that you would hate to find on your couch or on the front seat of your car or something like that. All right, so it is now the moment of truth. So they're out of the oven. They had to go a little longer than I thought they were going to have to go. So they were in for 17 minutes. Warren's giving them a try. He's kind of my resident cranberry. He he just knows cranberries. It's good. Can I eat another? Yes. Amber's here. They're really good. I like them a lot. She's not really my cranberry lover. Oh, that was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving them an eight? Mm -hmm. She's giving them an eight. I have not tried one yet. Make those exact muffins with chocolate chips and it'd be a 10. <laughs> we are going to end this. I will put this recipe out there for those of you that are interested. Remember to check out the link in the description box below for the Yod Watch $100 certificate giveaway. Did I get that all right? We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.